guys, today's video is going to be a book review on the last book in the Fallen series, Rapture. I'm sorry that I didn't get this video up early. I know I said I was going to put it up right away. Um, but it's up now and I'm just going to jump right into it. Okay, so this is the last book in the Fallen series, like I said. It leaves off exactly where Passion left off. And if you haven't read um, or seen any of the other reviews, I'll link them down below. Um, okay, so... They have, the gang um, has nine days to stop Lucifer from erasing the past. He opened up an announcer and the angels fell for nine days. Um, so they have nine days to stop him from, you know, transporting all of the falling angels to present day, which would erase everything that happened, you know, up until this point in time. Um, so yeah, they have nine days, and to figure out, they don't know where they don't know where um, they fell when they first fell to Earth because their minds were like totally erased. They just, I mean, they fell for nine days. They didn't even know that they were angels when they first fell, so they have no clue where they fell. And so they have nine days to find where they fell and then beat Lucifer there. So they have the only way to find out where they fell is they have to find. Um, Three relics that when brought together will tell them where um, the angels fell to earth and so that's what this book is about it's their you know they travel the earth you know to find out where or to find where these relics are and they have absolutely no clue where these relics are so I mean it's it's this huge huge deal you know they don't know where any of these are um a lot of things happen I guess. I don't really want to give anything away but I mean I kinda of just told you the gist of what the book is about. Um, I think that's probably all I'm gonna tell you about what the book is about because there really isn't anything else to say in regards to what it's about. Um, if you guys want to hear like my thoughts on it and kind of I guess spoilers because that's what I mean I'll be talking about my thoughts on what happened in the book um, you guys can keep watching. If not just click out right now. Okay, so my first thoughts on this when finishing this book was, holy crap, I was not expecting uh, Lucifer to be Luce's first love. Like, what? I was I was not expecting that at all. Completely not expecting that. Um, it just blew my mind when I read that. Um, so yeah, if you hadn't been uh, reading this book yet, sorry that I just spoiled it. You should have clicked out earlier. Um, I actually really, really like... The way that we found out about all of the information, you know, that Luce was, um, Lucifer was Luce's first love, and then um, Lucifer just got like power hungry when he when they were in heaven. Sorry, I totally forgot about this. Luce was an angel. Sorry, I didn't mention that. Luce was like the third seated angel in heaven, and um, she's the one who had the curse placed upon her. For she was the one who like chose love first instead of. Um, heaven instead of God and she chose love with Daniel because Lucifer was turning into this like evil person power hungry wanted to go against God and she just had enough of it and Daniel was there to comfort her so they fell in love and that's why the curse happened because Lucifer was really upset with Luce and he still loved her and he still wanted to be with her and so he thought he'd get revenge on her and tell God that you know something they need to be punished for choosing love over God um so yeah that's how the book ends or you know like what the big reveal is in this story um I was really excited that we finally got answers you know because I mean the first three books, we honestly didn't get, like, any answers at all, and it was really starting to frustrate me. Um, even in this book a little bit, we didn't really find out, like, anything until the last hundred pages, you know? Because the first, you know, the biggest chunk of the book is them finding the relics and all of that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, another thing that I thought was kind of cool was that when we found out all of the information... It, like, she just went all out. We found it out in, like, three chapters or something like that. And she told us 
every single detail that we have been missing throughout the whole entire series. So it's not like she like gave us bits and pieces along the way throughout this book. It was like this massive reveal, which I was like so excited about. I just kept turning, turning, turning the pages like I couldn't stop reading them, which was I was really, really happy that she finally gave us answers for all of the questions that we had been, you know, asking. Um, the only thing that I was kind of upset about with this book was that um, the way it ended up, uh, everything, you know, everything turned out fine or whatever, but Luce and Daniel had a choice. God gave them a choice. He forgave them. And he gave them a choice saying that you can either, you know, come back up to heaven, I think it was, and like not be together, uh, or you can, um, find each other, you know, you can, you will become humans, not know each other, start over from birth, you'll be like reincarnated, both of them will, Daniel and Luz, as humans, and if they find each other, they find each other, and if they don't, they don't, you know, um, so that was the life that they chose, they chose to become humans, not like humans from that, that point on, but humans as in like, they get reincarnated, and so they had no clue who any of their friends were. They didn't know anything about the Nephilim or their other angel friends or even their past lives, you know. So I just, I don't know. I was really kind of mad that they did that. I, I was happy that they, you know, finally got to be together. But it's just like, I wish, like, they would have, you know, still known all their friends. Like, I don't know why they had to be reincarnated. Why couldn't they just make them humans and then still know about all the other stuff. They didn't have to be angels, you know. Why couldn't they just be humans from that point on and just live their lives? Because, I mean, they didn't, Lauren Kate didn't explain what happened to Luce's family. You know, all, you know, the family that she, and her friends that she had in this lifetime, you know, her parents and Callie and her dog and just, you know, all of her, her relatives in this lifetime, did they just, like, disappear? Did all of her past lives just, like, disappear? I don't understand. I mean, I understand that, like, she finally realized that she was an angel and maybe that, like, made her think, like, you know, all of her past lives really didn't really matter because she was an angel, not a human, you know? So, I mean, all of her memories came back from being an angel. So, I don't, I don't know. It's just, I wish she would have given us some, a little bit more answers on, you know, what happened to her family. Did, like, they think that she died just like all the other families did? I don't, I don't really know about that, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I really, I really like this book. The, another thing that I didn't kind of like as much was that, um, for some reason I just couldn't get into it. Like, I was really excited to read it, and for most books that I'm really excited to read, like, I just keep turning and turning and turning the pages, but for some reason I kind of had to push myself through this book. I mean, it was nonstop action, but... I don't know, I just kind of had some trouble reading it. And that's kind of why this review came up a little bit later, just because I had a lot, of, I had some trouble reading this book um, until like the last hundred pages or so when all of the, you know, big reveals took place. It was kind of hard for me to get into it. So that would be like one of my other main concerns about this book. Um, aside from that, the cover's really pretty. I'm happy about this cover. Passion's cover I didn't really like that much, um, but this one's really pretty. There's the back of it. Uh, other than that, I not I don't think I have anything else to say about it, really. Uh, yeah, I liked it a lot. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> um, yeah, if you haven't seen um, any of my other reviews, I will link them down below, like I said. And... Um, subscribe uh, if you want to see more book reviews. I also do beauty videos and fitness videos, so you could probably see those on here too if you go check out my channel. Um, other than that, uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!